Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the void. I'm player one by myself. And we're back with uh, Xenoblade questing time. I told y'all it would be quite a few more since we are in this uh, story chunk now. But before we do any more quests, there is one nagging thing I wanted to do first. Because you know, um, for story reasons, Sword Valley and Galahad Fortress also will be cut off from us at some point. So I need to finish them before that point. Galahad is completely done, but there's just one, one thing left in Sword Valley. This fucker right here. Mischievous Nabarius. But now that we are higher level, and we have Fiora, we may be able to do something now. So, let's see if I can't kill him. Why is this guy like this? Why? Why? He's level 57, but he just seems to be super duper strong. I do also have the... I have the quick step on Ron. I'm still living though, somehow. You think so, Shulk? You, you think so? I mean, if my healing keeps getting up... Oh, I'm fucking down base. Shulk, get the hell up! Get up! Now get, get, get someone up, get someone up. Come here. gonna miss anyway. Fuck you. How is Melia dead again? I think, I think we can win, though. Oh! Oh, come on. Come on, Shulka! Come on! No! No! 
No! He was almost dead! Oh, god damn it. Okay, you bastard. Fuck you. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That second go was way easier. I just put Charlotte in and I got Shulk off the quick step armor. And I was able to do it. So there we go. Now, Sword Valley is done completely. Do not have to go back here. Okay, so now let's actually get to quests. All right, so our first one we have, we have uh, Legendary Napon Charm. We got to offer up flowers on the leg because old boy's knee not doing too good. So we just go to the places, put the thing. Simple as that. By the way, I have gotten the things for the other one, the one from Kofuko, where he had to get the, the brog sweat and nasty things. I, I've gotten those. So that one's done. Just need to turn it in. And boink. Okay, where is the next one? Up there. Having a quest like this, this far in, it's kind of neat. Like, I would, I would expect if you're at this point, if you've got this quest, you would have fully explored the leg so you could just instantly get to all these places. So not really complicated, just takes a little bit. A boinky. There's one all the way down there. Okay, it's the quickest. I guess this is the quickest one. the Tranquil Grotto is not labeled as a secret area. Like, you gotta really go out of your way to get over here. That's it for bottom, now for top. There's one right at the falls. Do this one. Hello, Gonzalez. And I do believe this is the last one, so nice and simple. And a boy case. There we go. So there's that one done. Because that's just a part of another one. And now we can go and turn those in. So, let's 
go do? Mm, just that. First, we can actually turn in this one for Kofuko. Hello? Let me take a little sniff. Oh, potent smell. Kofuko could eat these right now. Because remember, he wanted the, the best, strongest flavor. Oh, these flavors, crazy strong. Absolutely delicious. There, there you go. Since Kofuko got teeth fixed, he had given up our potent flavors. Well done, Hero Pollen friends. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, funny little dude. Alright, there's that. Yeah. I hope you can see me. Nice. And now, let me turn in this other one. Healing the healer. I think this guy is out at... Is that... is that him? Is that him? Or is that just a random person I have marked? No, that's the other... that's the other bro. No, I, I know who I need to go to. I need to go to down here and then switch it to daytime. And then you should be right there. Hello? Oh, you are back. Just as I said, my knee pain has cleared up. Thank you, friends. Hang on there. Did somebody put you up to this? So it was Medi and Inpa. Now I owe them a debt. I suppose I am grateful to them. Of course, I am grateful to friends, too. Indeedy, bruh. And I can talk to Inpa, who's right here. Will be you. Thank you. It seems to have made them forget their differences for now. Now I can relax when I go to see Dr. Yusa. Dr. Yusa has not been cured of his stubbornness, though. <laughs> So now they're at, uh, so they're both great doctors, but together, they're now great rivals. You like that, you like that. Okay. So now that we've done those, we should have access to a few more. Let us go to Medi again. Is he should have a new one. Indeed. Dear, oh dear. I don't get. I just don't get it. Recently, I get nothing but complaints from my patients. Whatever am I doing wrong? A vision. They got fire medicine while me rub medicine on fur. Give me back my pretty fur. The medicine's fault. Me drink medicine, me not feel right anymore. You quack, doctor. You're trying to wipe out that part. Oh no. Oh no. What's wrong? There's a problem with my medicine, you say? I get it from Puko, and he gets it custom made from Hyentia. It has been approved for use by Nopon. You don't think the Mekon raids have affected its quality, do you? If I ask him directly, then it could affect our trusting relationship. Can you ask him for me? Just act casually if you do. I can't let him think I distrust him. Talk to Puko. Okay. Hmm, what is going on? What is going on? Talk to Puko. Where is bro? He's in daytime, of course. And he's right here. Oh, hello. You want to know about medicine? Poco sell to Dr. Medi. Poco cannot answer that. Poco saw nine disclosure agreement. 
Those goddamn NDAs, I swear. Oh, no, no, no. It's not my fault. Monster attack supplies again. Puko cannot tell lies any longer. Puko is finished in this village. You fucker. Monster? Uh, how do you know about the monster? If you know about monster, that must mean you come to help Puko. Puko asked not one merchants to get bird people medicine. But merchants bringing medicine were attacked by monster. Goods were scattered, but many had already paid, so Puko have to give him something. So Puko tried to concoct his own medicine. Puko did not realize it would have such bad effect on people. Merchants were attacked by Abominable Hill on, of Aerith Sea. How can I get medicine back? Please go bash Abominable Hill for me. Is that a unique monster? You fucker. Right now they have mistrust. That sounds like a unique monster to me. You bitch. Okay, but I think there's another quest. So I need to actually be Rickert. <laughs> you think you think you know where this is going? And we need to talk to Dubby. Dubby. Okay, where is Dobby Dobby? It says Chief's Residence. Is he nighttime? Am I stupid? Am I st Hang on, let me look at the skin. Oh. I am stupid. I need- I need to finish this one first. I- Ah. Uh, of- of- of course. I- I see. So, I'm here, and um... That's the Abominable Hill. That- that's not a unique monster. I... What? The enemy's weak, but don't drop your guard. This should be easy. Okay. I don't... Nice I don't cool. understand. Right. I'm feeling it. High Entia Medicine. Oh, okay. It really was just that simple. Huh. Of course, I have to kill his friends, but other than that... Yeah, that was, that was, that was weird. That was strange. Now I can take all, take all this, take all this stuff, and then we can go back. Boink. You bashed abominable hill. Friends absolutely amazing. Friends also get back medicine. Can you give me medicine to Dr. Medi for me? Not tell him Puko had been making other medicine himself. No little secret. Okay, you little rascal. Hello, Medi. <laughs> you brought me the medicine I ordered from Puko. It seems different to the medicine he gave me recently. Maybe it's a new formula or something. Anyway, thanks for looking into it for me. There you go. Must go thank Puko for his efforts. I'll be ordering from him again soon, you see. Oh, yeah? Hmm. There we are. And now they are trusty contact. Yeah! Okay. So... Now we can do the Ricky one. It's Ricky time. So we should go up here. And yeah, there we go. Look at this little goober. 
this little ball just bounce around. And we go talk to Dobby Dobby. Oh, I hate high places, but I must show courage and make the jump. Dobby Dobby? Dobby Dobby okay? Not okay, not okay at all. But still, I have to jump otherwise I can never get married. Dobby Dobby nothing to worry about. Ricky just is as afraid as Dobby Dobby. We can go shaky at knees when think about jumping from here. Jumping business is very strange. So what not just Dobby Dobby? I knew other Napon think the same. But if I do not do jump, that upon will disown me. Sticky situation indeed. When Ricky jump, Ricky made Oka jump along with Ricky. But it's also important to know what to give up. Napon must not throw life away by getting squished at bottom. Cowardly Ricky speak the truth. Ricky not coward? Meh. And I will call it quits. It's too dangerous. I will only end up causing more pain for myself and others. Go tell Aditi that Dobby Dobby is a worthless knob on. I pity her, having to marry a useless Dobby Dobby. That is best thing to do. Ricky. Aditi, please forgive me. Dobby Dobby, look at yourself. A teeny weeny knob on like you could never jump properly. Silly Billy Dobby Dobby. Damn, silly Billy. Did Shulk just see vision? So Dabi Dabi going to jump, but he say he not want to. Very foolish Dabi Dabi. Quick, Ricky must talk to Aditi before he do something silly. Okay, let's talk to Aditi. Wherever she is. There's Aditi's all the fucking way over there. Okay. Hello. Wee. Friends want to see Dobby Dobby? Something wrong? Can I help? Dobby Dobby. I worked hard to get a kid no jog wristle. I worked so hard my fur all in tatters. But I too late. Dobby Dobby. Gone. Forever. I will jump too. Jump to Dobby Dobby. I will be with you soon. What the hell? Echidno jog gristle? I need to gather some echidno jog gristle. If I do, Puka will sell me some enlarging seaweed. With the seaweed, Dabi Dabi can jump off diving board safely. But, it's impossible for me to gather echidno jog gristle by myself. I done already have them. I didn't even know I needed them, but I have them. Now we go see Puka again. Luckily, I remember where he is. Bro, we were about to have a damn knop on double suicide. What the shit? These may be fluffy ball creatures, but it shit can still get crazy with them. I hope you all remember the knop on drug ring. Don't Don't think they're just cute little things. <laughs> I smell a kid no jock or something. Other friends managed to find it. I sell enlarging seaweed here. If you eat it along with a kid or so you get really large. Friends want some enlarging seaweed? Friends can have it for free because friends helped Puko. Puko might find it hard to shift all this echidno jog gristle anyway. Actually, Aditi said she wanted some enlarging seaweed. Dabi Dabi is looking for some to eat as well. Here, I'll just give it all to friends. So, you can now give it to either Dabi Dabi or Aditi. And actually, the better option here, just a tiny bit better, mind you, for like a little bit affinity, is to give it to a DD. Don't know why, but okay. Hey, there ain't nothing wrong with a big woman. Mm hmm. I think, uh, I think Bro will be happy with this. Friends got enlarging seaweed and a kid no jog wrestle. Oh ho, oh ho ho, it smells so good. I just taste a little bit. Oh ho, oh ho 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 ho. Bagoom. 
What happened? I suddenly massive knob on. Of course, now Big Me should be able to catch Dabi Dabi. Dabi Dabi, have courage and jump to Aditi. I'm going to jump now. Catch me properly, Aditi. Ba boom. Dabi Dabi safe because Aditi caught him. Hui. Now Dan upon Lollapop leave Dabi Dabi alone. Now I'm massive knob on, but my bigness let me save my Dabi Dabi, so I'm very happy. We will stay in love forever. Oh, ain't that sweet. Aditi has grown really big, but now we can be together. Thank you, friends. Your kindness moves me. Dabi Dabi's jump was incredible. Aditi was amazing, too. Thank you for everything, Ricky. I thought it best to try and jump on my own, but now I realize I need my friend's help. Ricky realized that, too, when he jumped. No matter what you do, working together best thing. Dabi Dabi learned good lesson. Going it alone is dangerous. Being scaredy cat so pitiable, you end up having to get others to do everything for you. Dabi Dabi must promise to keep that secret between him and Ricky. No one must know about Ricky being big scaredy cat. Okay. Anyway, now I can be with Aditi. Thank you, friends. And there we go. A boom and baboom. The nice hoofer. All right, all right. And now Ricky, Ricky has his uh, cowardice skill branch. Huh. And they are a happy couple. And he provides stuff. Very cool. So what we got down uh, Ricky's new skill tree? Cowardice. Hmm. We got increased strength during the night. Pretty good. Agility when HP is at half. Cooldown during the night. Ooh. Accuracy of back attacks and XP during the night. Pretty good, pretty good. But uh, I think I'm going to just have him finish off this one first. Okay, so now with that, we only have what seems to be three quests left. Finally, we will finally be caught up on Frontier Village. There are too many people here. Okay, so we want Rhine for this one. And I actually think, hmm, I think I may need to do something else before this one triggers. Let me, let me see here. Yeah, okay. So I think I need to talk to Lalapa. Where is, where is bro? Would have thought it. Upping out like a good nap on. Thank you, friends. I'm more than grateful. So that gets uh, approval. Who is who's hopeless? Pelu Pelu. I don't, I don't know that one. Even though Chief Dunga not here, Miko can receive prophecy, but Miko find it hard on her own. Friends know of someone who can help Miko do prayers. And that's the one we needed. We need we needed that one. Chief's aid. And now we can talk to Mika and she will have something. Right in here. And yes, you want you want Ryan for this one. He will talk. Chief has left the village. She went up to me alone to conduct prayers. Miko looking for someone to help. Can you assist Miko? Okay. 
You're not very complicated, really. Miku want Pelu Pelu to do night patrol properly and no slack off. Can you tell him for Miku? I get told off for slacking off, but you really gotta do the job properly. I can do anything while I think of the grub I'll get after my work's done. Hmm, thank you for that unconvincing opinion. This could be turning point for Pelu Pelu. Please help. Chat to Pelu Pelu. Okay. She just done called us Ricky's sidekicks. Alright, where is Pelu Pelu? Is he is he daytime? No, he is nighttime. Okay. I I okay, I'm stupid. She literally did say he he does nighttime. And he's up here. Okay. Hello there. Yeah. You tell him what the hell No way. No way. Oh, oh yeah? You little shit. Oh, who is who is this? Wait, who am I talking to? Thought I was going to talk to Miko again. Who is who is this? Oh, it is me. Huh. Me? Miko no did think he would hear you out. Can you collect par five pieces of Paranax belly meat? Okay. Paranax belly meat. I have one. Shit. All right, well, I'll be right back. All right. Yeah. How many times Pedal Pedal does a tattoo up? Oh. That piran hat's blood in the out there. You give Pelu Pelu over Dell. Okay, you run me over. That patrol's so boring, but we'll do a good job patrolling from now on. At least until Pelu Pelu wanted to help Luffy. Thank you. And now she's... No, no. Aha. Uh -huh. So it went well? Thank you. Miku think that good choice for me and for Pelu Pelu. Miko can do job, even though Chief Dunga not here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There we are. Protector daggers. And now they are... He is <laughs> unreliable. But now they are vital role. So I wonder if I talk to Lollapa again. Will that change? Let me see. Uh, it seems... It seems no. It seems that that link will not change. Sad. But okay, there's that one. So next, we actually have to talk to Pelu Pelu again. Okay. Oh wait, what is, what's this? Is this him? Yes, okay. So he actually has two. It's a little tiny quest line. So for the first one, for the first one, we want Ricky. Yeah. Pelu Pelu started to help me, but it's just so boring. Pelu Pelu hopes you can keep him company. That's a great opportunity for you. Pelu Pelu will deal you with stories of courage and honor. Ricky never hear Pelu Pelu stories. Are Pelu Pelu stories really true? Pelu Pelu never said they're true stories. But really, Pelu Pelu just wants you to help him kill Tan. First, Pelu Pelu wants to speak just after lunchtime. That when Pelu Pelu are full belly and feeling tired. Is this... What? He just wants us to talk to him at certain times? Oh, this sucks. Friends have time to speak to Palo Palo? Thank you, friends. Palo Palo tired around this time. What can we do? Um, Not sure the choice is here. The choice does not matter. Uh, I'm gonna go for her voice. 
listen to me go pro? Might make Palo Palo tired, but not so bad. They like listening to music. Now Palo Palo know what to do every day at this time. Come back between 3 and 6 p.m. Okay. You funky little thing. Palo Palo is feeling most tired about this time. A good thing friends here. Palo Palo usually start nodding off about now. What can Palo Palo do? Well, I obviously don't want him to do that, so pray together. That would be useful in future, but Palo Palo not want to take over if Miko gets sick. Palo Palo might give it a try if you feel like it. Now Palo Palo thinks he know how to get rid of tired feeling. Six and nine, okay. It's time for Pelo Pelo to knock off work. Just one last push till clocking out time. But Pelo Pelo have to start all again tomorrow. So sad. Think about tonight's dinner. Shadai's dinner will be delicious. Pelo Pelo's mouth watering. Suddenly got really hungry. Now Pelo Pelo know what to do next time. Talk to him between nine and midnight. God. Hey, bruh. Hey, man. Come here! Yeah. Thank you so much. Pelo Pelo will ask something while watching Miko. She do same thing every day without making any mistakes. Pelo Pelo try to be like her and work hard from now on. Thanks, friends. Oh, we didn't do nothing. You just... We just talked. This beginning of whole new Pelo Pelo. I'm tired of saying your name. Now he's very reliable and improved. Very nice. He does have one more though. And for that, we want Dunban. Pelo Pelo trying to live like Nico ever since last time. You know, about like two seconds ago. She pray hard every day and never complain. Pelo Pelo admire Nico. Pelo Pelo wish he could do more for Nico. Pelo Pelo see Nico work so hard. Pelo Pelo want to give Nico a present to say keep up good work. Great idea. I remember how glad I felt when I received a present from Fiora. Although her words alone would have been enough for me. Right, right. Friends understand. So friends help Pelo Pelo? All right, well, we have the wet rats. So I need wisp glow sticks and Ansel fish pies. Okay. Pelo Pelo needs two different things. Just bring them. Nico's favorite food, strange but true. Okay. So let me go ahead and do that. All right, here's your stuff. Wow, you collected everything. Great, Pelo Pelo makes a surprise cake and give it to Miko. You're putting all that in a cake? Ugh. Miko praying now so she eat cake later. She made strange face, but she probably just embarrassed. Thank you for helping, friends. Nice. Now praying time going to get fun from tomorrow on. Okay. Okay, here we go. And they are now un un unilateral love. What does what does unilateral mean? I'm stupid. It just means one one sided. She likes him. Oh, that's so fucking cute. Look at the knop on side now. Like all of them are connected and they got pretty good connections, except for these ones. I can probably, those will probably be fixed later, maybe. And look at this chart. Mm. Definitely got to do some stuff here, but that's for later. 
Now, let me check and make sure I believe we are fully caught up on old places and just need to do new places. So Colony 9, that's caught up. Jeffrey Cave is caught up. Bionis Leg is caught up. Um, Colony 6 is technically caught up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Toral Marsh is caught up. Magna Forest is. Frontier Village is now. Uh, Aerith Sea is. Alchemoth is. Valak Mountain is. And Sword Valley and Galahad. Okay. So we have done all the quests we can do at previous areas. Yeah! Yeah! So now, it's just stuff at the Fallen Arm and Makanis Field. Oh, oh I'm so excited. I'm so excited. We got quite a few here. No generic quests, which is weird. We don't have any generic quests here. Just, uh, just named ones. Alright, I'm gonna go here. And, uh, I think... I think I'm gonna accept them. I don't like starting an episode with just accepting a whole bunch of quests. Because then I feel like I haven't done anything. So, I'm going to see which ones I can accept. I'm not going to follow the list, I'm just going to go to people that have exclamation and then see what they have. So Xylex here wants Rhyme yes. to talk. I don't think it's been that long since you arrived here, has it? So I was just wondering, how much do you know about us Machina? Okay. If you want to find out more about us, I know just the thing. There are memory chips containing records of our lives on Makanis. They're in Makanis Field. They should help you gain a deeper understanding of our kind. Memory chips? Sounds like complicated stuff. I'm interested in the Machina, but I ain't good at studying in that. <laughs> Don't worry. The chips work on the brain to recreate images in your mind. It's a lot more fun than studying. Sounds right up my street. Right, got it. Better get looking. We too would be glad if you could find the memory chips. We'd all like to relive the memories from those days. Find the memory pieces scattered throughout McConnell's field. Okay. There's four of those. Alright, so then up here we have um, Voltac. Voltac wants Sharla to comment. May I take a moment of your time? I have something to ask you. The village is in grave danger. Mechon attack us on an almost daily basis. They have become highly active since Egil launched the invasion. There's been a dramatic rise in serious casualties sustained. As a result, our medicine supplies are almost entirely depleted. But the medicine's ingredients can only be collected outside. It would really help if someone could collect them for us. As a medic, I can't overlook this. I'd be happy to collect the ingredients for you. Very glad to hear that. But is it really acceptable for me to ask so much of you? Uh, five lots of Crabble Backmoss. Ew. Crabble... I don't know about you, but I would not want Crabble Backmoss in my system. Gross. Alright. Who we got next? Who we got next? We got this person right up here. Who is this? We have Rizaka. And Rizaka wants Rhyme. Welcome. Oh no, what can I do? This is so embarrassing. I can't just stand here all day. Oh? Oh sorry, did you hear me speaking to myself there? And I suppose there's no point in hiding it. It's my house door. It's broken. 
I just can't seem to open it, and now I can't get back inside. I'm pretty good at fixing things, but I haven't got the parts I need. I, I know, could I ask you to help? I just need you to find the parts. How about it? Move out the way a sec. I'll break it down for you. Ready? Three, two, one. Wait! I don't want it broken even worse. You know it's my job to fix things. I can't stand seeing things broken. I just want to get the door working again. So will you get the parts? Ryan, you big old blubbering buffoon. Oh hey, we already have the things. Oh yeah! Let's just uh, submit that real quick. Welcome. Great, you got everything I need. Thanks for your help. Now I can finally fix my door and get back into my house. Yeah! I can get back to work now that I can get back in my house again. My big sister collected up some scrap for me to repair. The work's really been piling up. Looks like I better get cracking. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Got one done. Didn't even need to do all that much. And that's Perfect Sisters between Rizaka and Aleka. Okay. Now then, there's one over here. One over here. Who's this? Uh, Rakzet. So Rakzet. Wants to talk to Melia. What do you need? This body is no good. I need a more general purpose one like a Homs. Oh, yeah? So you listen to my troubles. Sorry to keep you. I am what you call a rescuer. My job is to save people in trouble. The problem is, I have trouble rescuing people from the water. Water is a real problem for us Machina, you understand. I've been thinking about it and decided I want to become Homs. As a Homs, I could go in the water and rescue people anywhere. I've even thought of a way. I think I could do it with the right things. I admire your motives, but you, what you are saying seems hard to believe. Is it really possible for a Machina to become a Homs? To be honest, I don't know. But I want to try all possibilities. I will never give up. I'm persistent. Always has been. Silver Lexos hearts, poisonous corals. We need pretty flammy eggs. Don't know how that's going to turn you into a Homs, but... Okay. Alright, and now... We have this one at the door. Who is this? Who is this at the door? We have... Oh, Aleka, the sister. And she... Wants Dunban. Not equipment. Welcome. Oh no, what to do? Soon the village will be in danger. If no one puts a stop to this, we'll all be in big trouble. Ooh, to Ricky. Well, listen to what I have to say. Well, thank you. What's happened is, I recently saw some Mechon really close to the village. I'm always going out of the village and collecting scrap nearby. When I was doing that the other day, I saw these huge Mechon walking around. I was so scared, I ran off as fast as my legs could carry me. Just think what would happen if those Mechon got into our village. Now I'm even more scared. Please help me. Help us all. Protect our village from the Mechon. I hadn't expected you would be in such dire straits. Naturally, we would be delighted to assist you. Couldn't simply ignore a matter like this. You really don't mind? Praise be to Mayneth. She's always watching over us. Three M85 Meteor Artillery. Okay. Okay, so I think that's all the ones in the village. Actually, hang on. Time and all that. Let's go nighttime. Ah, uh, yeah, there's new ones. Okay. So, what are these ones? Oh, hello. Natalia. 
of Talia. She wants Melia. Yes. What am I going to do? I really have to get it to them. Hey, maybe you can help. I don't mean to burden you with this, but I need some help here. I need to get food to the villagers keeping watch outside the village. I haven't been feeling well lately and I can't bring myself to go out. They look forward to me taking them their meals every day. If only someone else could take the meals to them for me. Then everyone would be happy. I can understand how you feel. We could deliver the food to them on your behalf. You should not overexert yourself if you're feeling out of sorts. That's so sweet of you to say. I think I'll take you up on your kind offer. Take the food to Theo. Okay. Well, I know where Theo is. Luckily. Uh, but what is this one? We have... Crocs. Crocs. Wants Shulk. Hmm. Oh, you've been talking to A's. You really don't discriminate, huh? But he's actually pretty amazing. He has this incredible empathy. It's like he takes people's worries and makes them his own. Well, that got me a cheeky little link right there. Pretty amazing. Welcome. Hey, do you have a minute? I need to talk to you. I've got this problem, you see. Do you know what I'm talking about? Okay, here's the thing. It's my job to collect spring water from Zack Spring. But lately, I've been hearing these weird noises around there. It's creeping me out so badly, I'm too scared to go do my job. You know how that silver mechon fell into the beach recently? It sounds like the creepy noise is coming from that. But I'm too scared to investigate it properly and find out what it is. Could you go check out what's making that noise? If it is the silver face making that noise, we can't ignore it. It's scaring the villagers, so we have to go and check it out. What's that about a silver face? Well, whatever. I just need you to find out what's making the noise. Okay, so Silverface is making some noise. That's not scary in the slightest. Okay, so after that... I think we do... Yeah, we do need to go here, because there are quests over here. So you want the food delivery one accepted, and you want to come here and talk to, uh, Theo. All right. Huh? Oh, time to eat. I was starting to get hungry. Grub's the only thing to look forward to in this job. But why are you ringing it? What's up with Natalia? Oh, right. It's so nice for her to deliver food to us out here. I like it, but I do feel a bit like I'm taking advantage of her. Still, there's another Homs in the village who I've heard reliable. As long as she's got him, I reckon she should be alright. Oh, yeah? By the way, give this to Natalia if you're going back to the village. It's a fish I caught around here. It's some good eating, and nutritious to boot. I feel like I owe her a little something for always delivering my dinner. Deepwater fish. Okay. But now that we've done that, uh, this one opens up from Zarkort. And you just want Fiora. Yes? I've really got a lot on my mind. Can you guess what it's about? It's my girlfriend. It's her job to keep watch over McConnell's field. She works there full time, so we've got this long distance thing going. And with me being scared of heights, I can't go and see her. I'm worried she might forget about me if we stay apart any longer. I know how painful it feels to be separated from someone. Is there anything we can do? I want to help any way I can. Thanks for the thought. What I need might be pretty difficult to do. I won't know if you don't tell me. What is it? Okay, I'll tell you. I don't want her to forget about me. I came up with this idea to give her a present. I'm sure a treasure called the Tear of the Sky will make an impression. But you can only find it on distant fingertip. There's no way I can go up there. I'm terrified of heights. Only during a thunderstorm. You'll go for me? Thanks. I know it's a lot of trouble. It's a labor of love. Okay, so I think with that...
Yes, I believe with that, that's now all of them that we can do accepted. Yes, it's it seems like it. Okay, got we got quite a few to do, quite a few to do. But of course, I will start on those next time. I've been player one, and I'll see you next time when we do these. All right. Bye-bye.